Uh, my name is Michael Longley. Uh, I was born in Belfast and uh, educated at the Royal Belfast Academical Institution behind me, which is mercifully shortened to INST. So I'm an INST boy, an Instonian, and uh, like all Instonians, I'm rather proud of the fact. Uh, one of the founders was William Drennan, the United Irishman, the, 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 the radical uh, Presbyterian. And he and a, uh, and, and, and a group of like thinkers founded the, the Lynn Hall Library, which is just down there, and, and, and this school. And uh, the, the liberal traditions of which he stood for were, were kept alive, really, certainly, certainly when I, I was at the school. And um, it's also, I think you would agree, an exquisite Georgian building, it, one of the best, possibly the loveliest uh, building in, in, in Belfast. I'm more of a, a nature poet, I suppose. Uh, I like writing about the, the countryside. I think one of the gaps in my oeuvre, as it were, might be the, uh, the city of Belfast as subject matter. But nevertheless, uh, the city uh, willy-nilly uh, gets into my poetry uh, between the lines, as it were. The, uh, the, 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 some, I, I like to think that some of uh, uh, Belfast's salty wit uh, gets into my writing. Um, but if you take um, a, a poet like, um, like Kieran Carson, um, say uh, Belfast is really his major subject, or it certainly was of his early poetry. Uh, I have written uh, comparatively few poems uh, which begin and end as the subject matter uh, of this city. Uh, I haven't finished yet, so perhaps, uh, perhaps in future uh, Belfast will large into my poems like that great black bus which has just roared past. When I was in sixth form uh, at Inst, uh, our English teacher Joe Cowan uh, introduced, the, introduced us to some Irish poets, uh, most especially um, uh, Louis McNeese. And he's the poet uh, I've chosen because he's just a, a brilliant poet, a marvelous love poet, landscape poet, um, cultural commentator, a, a multifaceted poet. But um, he was born here. Uh, he wrote some of the best poems that exist uh, about Belfast. Uh, he spent most of his life in England, so people say, was he an Irish poet at all? But he's a bit like me. I mean, my mum and dad uh, were English, uh, and I think of myself as Irish, but also uh, uh, British. And there's that kind of schizoid feeling uh, about McNeese, uh, towards which I feel uh, uh, great sympathy. He used to come to Belfast uh, to recce for BBC, he worked with the BBC to do reccees for, for programmes and his reccees always coincided with rugby internationals. So um, I'm pleased that there's another poet who's uh, excessively interested, obsessed would you say, uh, uh, with, with rugby but he's um, a, a truly brilliant, flashingly intelligent, uh, passionate poet and he's from Belfast. Uh, the poem I'm going to read, The Ice Cream Man, is uh, about the two parts of Ireland uh, I love the most, uh, the city of Belfast and uh, the western seaboard, in particular the Burren. And this is an elegy for the ice cream man who was shot on the Lisburn Road, just in that direction. Uh, and the imagery I, I use is the, the flower names from, from the Burren. Uh, the poem's addressed to my younger daughter, Sarah. The Ice Cream Man. Rum and raisin, vanilla, butterscotch, walnut, peach. You would rhyme off the flavors. That was before they murdered the ice cream man on the Lisburn Road, and you bought carnations to lay outside his shop. I named for you all the wild flowers of the burren I had seen in one day. Thyme, valerian, loosestrife, meadowsweet, twayblade, crowfoot, ling, 
Angelica, Herb Robert, Marjoram, Cow Parsley, Sundew, Veg, Mountain Avens, Wood Sage, Ragged Robin, Stitchwort, Yarrow, Ladies Bedstraw, Bindweed, Bog, Pimpernel. And after that poem appeared, I got this extraordinary letter. Dear Mr. Longley, my daughter bought your book, Gorse Fires, for me after hearing you on the radio. Your verse on the ice cream man was clear to us who you were writing about, but I do appreciate very much that someone outside our family circle remembered my son John. The fact that there were 21 flavours of ice cream in his shop and you wrote 21 flowers was coincidental. I do bless you for your kind thoughts and may God bless you. Sincerely, the ice cream man's mother, Rosetta Larmer. Now, that's almost my most precious possession, one of my most precious possessions, that, that letter. And it pleases me to have been of some use.